Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use two simple moving averages so that you can go ahead and grab 20 points a day, almost guaranteed on crude oil. So as I move this chart up here, I want you to focus in on both the white line and the red lines. I'm gonna teach you how to use these moving averages so when there's a crossover, you can grab 20 points all day on crude oil. Are you ready? Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is add these two moving averages. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and go up here to indicators. We wanna go ahead and go to the search bar and we want to type in MOV and then you're gonna see this moving average appear. You wanna click on it once and you wanna click on it twice. Now you wanna go ahead and exit and then you're gonna see that the moving averages are here in the upper left-hand corner. Now, the first one already appears as a moving average nine. That's exactly the way I want it. But if yours does not, you can simply click on settings. You can go to inputs. You can change this number to nine, okay? And then if you wanna change the color, you can do that. If you wanna change the thickness of the line, you can come here and you can do that. And then when you're ready, I suggest that you click on save as default and then click okay. Now, the second one here, I want to go ahead and change those inputs. So I want to click on input. Now, I want to change this number to 20. And then I want to go to style. And hold on. Let's do 20. Okay. I want to go to style. I want to change the color because I don't want it to match. Let's make it yellow. And I, I like the thickness. I'm going to click on save as default. And I'm going to click OK. Now, as you can see, I have both a 9 and a 20-day moving average. And all that means is that the nine-day moving average moves based on price over the last nine days, and a 20 moves based on price the last 20 days. So obviously, the white line is going to be faster than the yellow line because of the time period. Now note, keep in mind, all moving averages lag. So that's why I wanna give you a strategy to grab 20 points a day on crude oil. If you get more, great, but I wanna show you how to grab 20 points a day so you can make money each and every day. So let's take a look at a couple of scenarios on how I use the nine and the 20. The first scenario, we're gonna focus in here on this area right in here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to aqua, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the replay tool and I'm gonna bring it here. And I'm gonna walk you step by step. So this was the first step in this scenario. We had a candle on the one hour, or in this case, a 30 minute chart, okay? Close below both moving averages. You can clearly see here that this 30 day candle closed below both the nine and the 20 day moving average. Now what we're looking for is that candles retest one or both of the averages. So I'm gonna kind of move this play speed to a three, and I'm gonna go in and click on play. And as we can see here, now we're gonna stop it there. We can see right here that price came back up into the moving averages. That is our signal to sell in this particular case, okay? Now again, we are only looking for 20 points. And I wanna kind of highlight that because 20 points in oil moves very fast. That's all you need. Let me kind of show you this again, because everybody wants to hit a home run. You only need price to come up to here from that moving average, from here to here, to grab 20 points. That's it. That would be a 20 point win trade if price moved. Now we can clearly see that price has continued to move down, but your goal should be 20 points on crude oil and then move your stop loss to break even or take your profits. I do not leave money on the table. I'll wait for a second entry because I can always do this exact same thing on a lower time frame. But we're sitting on the 30 minute chart today. And like anything else, this is gonna require you to practice, practice, and practice. So a position like this for a short would have looked like this. The entry is the moving average. We're gonna go depending on your risk management, how many points you're looking for, but let's go above the last high. And now let's kind of move this down. 
We're going to bring it to here. And again, our take profit should be obviously our 20 points, but we're going to go down to our next identified zone. Why? Because we can clearly see here that price has wicked and we have a zone sitting right in here. So this should be our initial exit just based on support and resistance. And I'll do another video on support and resistance, right? So we're looking at something like this in this particular uh, scenario. Let's kind of go back up here. You know, let's kind of fix this thing here because we kind of messed it up. Okay, so that's our entry and that would be our stop loss. Okay, that is a scenario. Now, if we play the scenario, you can clearly see that we came past the zone and we continued. And again, I'm gonna be doing in another video, how do we continue in a trade like this so we can grab more than 20 points, but we met our goal when it came to grabbing our 20 points in this particular market, right? And we can see what kind of price does. And I'm gonna give you a couple of different examples as we move through. So let's go ahead and click on here. I don't need the replay button. Let's delete this. And yes. Now let's kind of take a look at some other scenarios. Okay, so let's take a look. We had just cleared this trade and a little bit later, we had the same opportunity here. Okay, where price came above both moving averages right in this candle right here. Okay, now again, this one may have been a little bit of a trickier move because guess what? we never got really the retest that we wanted to. So this one, we probably would not have entered because of the retest. But here's a great example on why you need to know where support and resistance is. Because if you did take the candle closing above both averages, you should have gotten out at the area of resistance, okay? Now, again, you have to know what time frames you're trading. Uh, again, I only trade US session. So if you're trading London, you wanna practice this at the different sessions that happen, okay? Here's another example. We had a price close above both averages. This candle right here could be taken as your retest. So something to this effect, you're probably looking at a long position of something like this. It did not come as far down as we like, but if you would have taken this position, you're looking at putting your stop loss below the average and then taking this up to our next area that's identified as our support and resistance, okay? So again, looking for different opportunities. Uh, and again, this is a fast moving average, right? And again, you can grab 20 points because even in this scenario, right, where it closed above, if you're only looking for 20 points and you would have entered here, that is 20 points, my friends. That's it. That's all you needed the candle to do right here to grab your 20 points. Meanwhile, it gave you a lot more than 20 points right? Let's take a look at this little scenario right here. Because everybody always looks about, oh my God, I need to have these big scenarios. How about right here? We had price close this candle above both of the averages. So it met our rule. Now price came back down right here to retest the average. So that is our entry. So let's grab a long position. Let's put it here. Let's make our stop loss below the last low which is right here okay we'll keep we'll keep that there and again we only need 20 points guess what my friends just on this wick going back up we almost got 20 20 points was right here okay i'm going to leave that right there for a second so you can see that with crude oil because of how quickly it moves we only need sometimes half of a 30 minute candle to grab 20 points okay and again you can see this over and over again in all of these different scenarios here. And I'm just gonna point out a few, right? We closed below, we kind of came back up. Here are the wicks. These are the kind of the retests near the zones. And then we take a sell back down, right? We're not doing anything during consolidation. Same thing here, great example. We close below, there's our retest. You could have gone either on this candle or you could have gone either on this candle. And again, we're only looking for 20 points. So had we gone in at any of these two, touching, well, we're already over at 30, 30, 30. Well, all we want is 20. There is 20. That's it, right? That small move, that wick, price coming back down from the wick would have given you the 20 points opportunity. So I wanted to introduce 
two moving averages to make your trading a little bit easier, especially if you are brand new. Just like anything else, back test and practice. Try these two moving averages on your favorite pairs, but for crude oil, it is very successful if you have small goals like a scalper of trying to generate 20 to 30 points. Okay, if you got some value, smash the like button. And if you're brand new, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.